We're looking at the uh, November 20, sorry, November 14th, 2016 supermoon. And it's hidden behind a bank of clouds, but uh, makes for some interesting uh, video. It would make for some interesting photos too. But unfortunately, I can't do both at the same time. I considered bringing a second tripod so I could uh, run video while taking some still photos, but I already had a, a lot to carry, and uh, so I decided to forego the uh, second tripod. But uh, I might take a couple of stills uh, in a moment. I think I might also... Uh, make this uh, a little darker, um, to borrow a phrase from uh, Leonard Cohen, because uh, the moon's definitely uh, quite bright. I can't really, you know, I can expose for the clouds or I can expose for the moon. I can't do both. And I could get somewhere in between. So we're debating uh, whether or not uh, we want to uh, I think I'm going to let this clip go until the moon's about the middle <clears throat> and then I will uh, start a new clip at a somewhat lower ISO and see how that works out. Maybe took a couple of still photos in between. So in terms of uh, how it looks to the naked eye, the clouds are about right. They're actually a little brighter than what I'm seeing with the naked eye, so I could lower the ISO a bit. Um, the naked eye gives them a bit of a more browny color. Uh, I could actually see more clouds over the moon than you can see in the video. And then of course the moon's totally washed out. Um, compared to what I see with the eye. But then with the eye, you know, I'm really seeing the clouds and then a white uh, circle. So I think we're just about done here. We're going to uh, start another video clip after uh, adjusting the ISO down and uh, re-framing. Uh, 